Welcome to episode 63 of Mastering Fortnite Save the World. I have 19 days of logging in. I just completed Canny Valley Storm Shield Defense 6 and in doing so I unlocked Blasting Off. This will allow me to launch the rocket and move to Twine Peaks. I started a new account with the Metal Team Leader Promotion played through Stonewood. Then I reached Plankert, hunted the Storm Shield Defense 1, I went into Ventures, blasted Badlands, Season 1 completed that and figured, hey, I'm so strong now I can go to Twine Peaks. So I have been doing all Storm Shield Defenses in a row from there, Canny Valley, and now I need to do the Blasting Off quest, but I cannot unlock it before I have power level 58, and that is what this video is going to be about. As you can see... I'm pretty down on everything. The only, like we have two ways to get power level in Fortnite Save the World. One is our daily research where we can go in and spend points to increase our fort stats, meaning that the longer you play, the stronger you get up till a given maximum. Then we can level up and evolve survivors, matching personalities, different rarities, leaders, all that kind of stuff. And that is the only thing I have to work with since I want to reach Twine Peaks before 20 days of logging in. So I need to go from power level 42 to power level 58 now. So in order to do that, I need to get my survivors leveled up and evolved. So I'm saying goodbye to all of these amazing heroes to get training manuals because training manuals are needed in order to evolve survivors, heroes and defenders to more stars and giving them more stars gives them a higher power level contribution and it allows me to level them up giving me even more power level from them so i have uh, <laughs> i don't have that many survivors but i have some and once i get these training manuals i can level them up so by retiring a lot of heroes Heroes, Defenders and Survivors will give you training manuals when you retire them. So that is good. I'm even getting some pure drops of rain and things like that from my collection book because when you batch retire things, it will put the things that can come into the collection book there. So that is pretty much what's happening now. Said goodbye to some of the really cool heroes I have been buying from the event store, earning in the game. And this is what I'm left with my like kind of cool things that I feel I need. Got a legendary llama from my collection book that I'm bashing as well. And I think I need to bash even more llamas. I need better survivors for a chance to get an even higher power level. 58 from 42 is a huge jump. Hopefully I can do it. I've been playing almost 22 hours in a row. That's, that's not true actually because I slept as well but I've been playing for a very long time in a row going on 11 Storm Shield defenses and I did one launch the rocket. I need to do the other one then I have reached Twine Peaks in one go from, from Plankerton and it, it has been a crazy gaming streak. So if I'm, if I'm a little grocky, if I'm <laughs> sounding even like more wasted than usual, then it's just because this has been a very cool, very enjoyable gaming streak where if I can just do that, that, if I can just get to power level 58, I will be able to launch the rocket, hopefully. And then I've complete, completed my goal reaching Twine Peaks before 20 days of logging in. Rest assured, guys, this will happen. If I have to, like no matter what I have to do, I will, I will get it. If I need to almost sell my one leg i will do it power level 54 so far so as you can see whenever i am evolving one of these survivors my power level indicator in the top left corner is increasing when i level them up it is increasing again these are the survivors i have already slotted in you can position your survivors in teams to get a really good power level if you just put them in there, you may not get the best possible power level. Every survivor has a personality. We have survivor leaders, bosses, 
and if the squad members in that survivors team have a personality that matches up with the leader you get more power level they also have set bonuses where if you have two or three survivors in the same squad that share a set bonus you will get something like more health more shield more melee damage more trap durability more ranged weapon damage and having these set completions will also give a higher power level normally this is something i would really nitty gritty nerd into because it is it is very important especially in the end game getting this trap durability for instance or getting your higher tech score for more ability damage but let's be honest i'm i'm a little wasted i'm a little tired and i have quite a few survivors and the mixing and matching can be like it's it's something i normally really enjoy just like really geeking into but right now i just i just want to reach power level 58 so i'm just starting out by going in there selecting some of my survivors evolving them to two stars leveling them up then i'm just going to be seeing what what is my power level when i have evolved these things to two stars and where should i spend the extra resources on going up to three stars because it gets more and more expensive in relation to these training manuals pure drops of rain like everything is more expensive if you select for instance a legendary survivor over a rare survivor or over an epic survivor so as you can see i have a lot of actual survivor experience points this is because i played ventures blasted badlands season one and in that i was able to complete twine peaks tiered missions even though i was only in plankerton to get millions of survivor experience points i got a huge amount of pure drops of rain i got a decent amount of training manuals as well for getting my seasonal level up and running so that is why i am pretty stashed and why i feel confident that i i am gonna gonna reach power level 58 but we are almost at the end of the road now power level 52 but i am not there yet and i can see that my uh, my evolution materials are uh, they're going down they're going down i probably don't have everything that i need right now so even though i just retired a lot of legendary heroes put them into the collection book i am i don't have enough so that that is a bit of that is a bit of a problem um but now i have i have some some legendary leads i have some legendary survivors so i'm just gonna one-up those trying to focus on the better ones that i have instead of wasting resources on a lot of epics to see where that is going to take me and everything seems easy while you have close to unlimited spending spree if i had enough resources i could just like do everything but i don't so now i am running out and it means that i need to i don't know man i need to retire more stuff so see if i can get something cool from the collection book and prob another epic not bad real i think we're gonna buy some llamas you know what guys i'm gonna buy some llamas see if we can get more legendary power to why can i not buy more than one at a time wow i really miss the good old days where we had good llamas i know loot boxing is a no-no rng in in purchase things is a no-no it's like boohoo you cannot enjoy not knowing what you're getting and uh, personally i loved the old llamas i loved not knowing what i was getting having this chance to possibly get something amazing i know it's like semi gambling and boohoo we cannot be like that kind of a company anymore and regulations and laws but for me that was fun for me opening these llamas is not fun it is it is a chore it is a little annoying because i can apparently only do one at a time and i already know what i'm gonna be getting so why waste my time with this animation every time that is like my take on it but ooh, what are we getting what are we getting what what are we getting we're getting a mythic lead survivor that is the best thing i can get in the game so that was really cool 
to get right now where that is exactly. No, was it only? Oh man. Well, anyway, anyway, we're getting them goodies. Three legendaries. That was cool. We're definitely gonna be boosting power level based on that. I'm I'm just gonna be burning all of my X-ray tickets now because. And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I shouldn't be playing and recording and talking when I'm tired, but I I really I set off to uh, I set off to do this in in like 22 hours to do 11 storm shield defenses and two launch the rockets and gain power level 58, and I am so close right now. The only thing I have left is really to get power level 58 and complete launch the rocket. So so. Even though I'm sorry, I'm a bit more grocky and all that kind of stuff. It has to, it has to be done right now. It's not because I'm not uh, excited and hyped. I'm just also tired. So a lot of gaming, a lot of storm shield defenses, uh, a lot of like building and things going on in relation to that. Where I'm just, I'm just mushy mushy on the top <laughs> on the top level, bashing llamas, being a little bit. Come on, man! I just want my goodies. And what do we have here? Where another epic? Oh well. Cool thing about getting epic survivors and rare survivors right now is that I can always batch, recycle them, retire them, put them into the collection book to get to get more goodies. So I need the training manuals. I probably also need some pure drops of rain. I don't know if I can get enough pure drops of rain from the store to do this. I may need to actually also go out and play missions to get more pure drops of rain, time, time will tell, I don't have a lot of time left. I, I can barely do what I need to do and stay on day 19. This is day 19 of gaming, it would be amazing to reach Twine Peaks on day 19. I, I wanted to do it in 20, but if I can do it in 19, it's just better. So yay me, I really hope that I can get power level 50 up, 50 up, 58 and low. Oh, what are we getting? Yeah. Yeah, boy! Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Wall spikes are amazing. One of the core traps in the game that I absolutely love for so many different builds. That is going to be so amazing to get these wall spikes. So even though that is not what I'm looking for right now, it is. That was a great thing to get. That was really amazing. Wow. So another cool legendary trap for my collection that I can just... Wow, use like crazy moving forward. It's gonna be very exciting to see what Ventures Season 2 has to offer. I believe it lands on September 4th. I I really want to continue playing on this account. Another legendary. There we have my friend. That was a mythic. Oh yeah. Alright, that was cool. So I did get a mythic survivor, a mythic lead survivor. I could also go for we have two mythic actual survivors that we can get by completing these like side quests in the game. I'm going to be looking into that. I just don't have time to do it today as well. So getting a mythic lead, that was cool. I can I can boost that one up like crazy. It is the best survivor you can get is a mythic, a mythic lead. So having one of those is amazing. I need multiple of them in order to reach the max power level, but just having, oh, they are really giving me the goodies now, wow. So, I don't know if they made these llamas better or what's going on, but I am on a roll. This is really cool, wow. <laughs> no, I do not want a sniper defender, I want a legendary survivor. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, I, I'm going to continue playing on this account, making a guide for the entire game. Once I am in Twine Peaks, and I've completed the Twine Peak Storm Shield defense one, I will most likely rewind and start doing the quests that we have in Plankerton, the ones that I just like trailblazed past, do the ones in Canny Valley. I want to share a guide to the entire game with you guys from a brand new account to make a guide about how do you complete the completed game because I was doing it and they just constantly changed the game. I published more than a thousand Fortnite Save the World videos, but they kind of change things all the time. So I wanted to provide that type of content for the people out there wondering how do I do things in Fortnite Save the World. So even though I have been trailblazing past these 
plank return and canyon valley core missions it is not because i don't want to complete them or share them i just saw a chance to go like to twine peaks in a day because i got so strong from playing avengers blasted badlands that i figured that was actually a pretty cool challenge that i wanted to have for myself and it will give me like more power unlocking more things in the game and then we can go back and and look at these core cool quests once i have done that so it's going to be coming i expect to do plankerton after this and then look into ventures season two once i'm done with the plankerton series of quests so so yeah that is that is the plan but this was pretty cool i got i got good stuff man i got look at all the survivors i got here wow Oh man, I, I don't really have time to look into like the bonuses and stuff like that, but I should, but I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm just, uh, <laughs> power level 58, here we go, is what I'm thinking. And I know this is like a completely long and different kind of video with some unboxing and some leveling up and some cray cray, but it, um, yeah, I wanted to show the, the entire thing. But we're gonna be putting in our new mythic lead, look at this. Power level 50 for just having level 1. So upgrading this one, evolving this one, a mythic lead survivor in the appropriate team. Crazy, crazy, crazy power. 174 just for having him alone. Wow. Now this is, this is some silly stuff. Now I'm going to have to do some degree of nudging now because I have... Yeah, I have, um, this is going to affect how my things were positioned and the bonuses they have. I'm power level 55 now. I pro I'm probably going to be retiring some of my existing leveled up survivors. It's, it's, this is going to get messy, guys. This is going to be, this is going to be messy. Oh, yes, it is. But it's okay. It's okay. We need to get the most out of uh, whatever we have to put that one in there. Another legendary lead level one that is just gaining so much more for being in the right teams no 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 pure drops of rain oh man i just need two more power level two more power level uh, but now i'm down on pure drops of rain that is a shame but let us just try to nudge these things i can put that dude in there and uh ba -ba -ba -bam. yeah 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 well i can actually well, we have the epic leads. I don't need those any longer. I don't believe so anyway. I can probably also get rid of that one. So that will give me the pure drops of rain back, as you can see, when I am retiring them. So I'm getting a thousand training manuals, 44 pure drops of rain. Boom, back to me. And I'm getting more goodies from the collection book. Amazing. Collection book 68. Uh, schematic experience points not what i needed but anyway now i have some pure drops of rain that i can go back into my newly added legendary survivor and get it up and running with if need be so i am probably gonna be spreading this out a little bit to make sure that i have a little something look at that power level 57 guys we are almost there now we're almost there now no 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 no, no. i just need half a power level so this should be doable. Do I want to nudge things a bit more here for legendary survivors? Or I'm, I, I need to spend a lot more time on my survivors to get things like really, really cray cray good. But I don't think this is the time for it. It's, it's better done when you have had some sleep. Okay, not, not high on yeah okay 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 no good leads to select here oh well then oh well then do we have yes we have a legendary survivor with a matching personality another legendary with a matching personality another legendary with a matching personality and we can put in this one with a matching personality do we have more uh, we can put in that one with a matching personality. So now I took a dive in power level, but I'm just moving things around a little bit. Then we can retire some of these 
and take the resources that we had put into them and put them into ones with matching personalities and and things should be things should be a-okay i'm just checking out we actually have the training team and corps of engineering are using the same okay so i have a lot of a lot of messy stuff going on here in regards to so we have a legendary there again with a matching personality and we have one here that isn't even a matching personality so we can just put in that one to then we can move that personality into another slot to get more bite for the buck from it so what do we have there and we can put in look at that we're getting 63 points from it now so it's really we're really getting a lot more when we are nudging things around so like that back to power level 55 i know we were at 57 before don't don't get me wrong i know that uh you get a lot more power level actually by having spread out your 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 points over all of the fort stats so there are many things really into that come into getting high power level from your survivors right now i am just sorting things do we have no 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 okay well we can put in these 47 uh ba, 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 ba. wow i when you're used to having like everything to select from to make whatever you want this is this is a this is a cool puzzle to have but it's okay we are almost there guys fear not we are gonna make it oh yes we are just trying not to waste too many resources because i'm i'm down on almost everything but i'm gonna be sorting this like a lot more later this is just uh, right now a bit chaotic mixing of my survivors to get things up and running come on there we have her 63 when put in here almost at 56 again so it looked like we were close and we are i do have survivors that i put in here that i can retire to get training manuals and pure drops of rain back and i can put those i've put in like a lot of survivors now that haven't been leveled up so i'm confident that that we're gonna hit the power level 58 now so it, just just a little bit of nudging around so we can retire these like i said before get the pure drops of rain back get the training manuals get the survivor experience points and then i can use these resources on on better survivors really because ideally i only want to have mythics and legendaries it is of course a bit optimistic to have that like point of view in a 19 day old account but yeah it is it is what it is i am originally i didn't want to level up anything that wasn't legendary or mythic but yeah i i kind of had to go a little bit dirty when i wanted to reach twine peaks in in close to no time all right getting in another legendary so now we can upgrade dr dude here like that evolve him a little bit like that great stuff and uh, the thing is, when you don't have a mythic lead, you don't really know if the personality you have for your survivor is going to match up with something that you can really benefit from in the long run. So I also like want to keep that a little bit in mind. But we are at power level 56 now. What? What? We had 57 before. What are you doing? Fear not. Fear not, my friends. We're going to make it just... Um, sorting things a little bit here then we should be ready to rumble so pure drops of rain i only have for three of these evolutions power level 56 so it is more expensive whoa that was a cray cray one it's more expensive to evolve a legendary survivor than an epic it's more expensive to evolve a mythic i'm gonna say goodbye to this one i never crafted this i i, I got this legendary schematic I instantly upgraded it and I have never, ooh, training manuals. I've never made it, never ever crafted that schematic. So that is, that is kind of fun actually. But anyway, anyway, is this gonna be enough for us or do I need to go into the event store? Because this dude here, oh yeah, check out these ninja moves. And what else do we have? The last wannabe, the last wannabe, no, seven out of 20 pure drops of rain. Okay. Power level 56 and I need to go into the weekly store to buy some of them pure drops of rain because I don't I don't have time to, to play pure drops of rain missions right now. I need to get this done, launch the rocket, then I'm in Twine Peaks and hopefully I don't know. I'm probably gonna have a shot at the Twine Peaks Storm Shield defense one as well before I crash 
but we uh, we will see but anyway let's get this dude up and running come on man uh yeah we can do that where are we 57 again great all right so now we're almost where <laughs> where we were when i started nudging so why am i weaker now than before well because it is more expensive to use legendary survivors than epics but they will take you potentially higher also because i have sorted a few things i have lost some bonuses i have gained others but there we have it power level 58 guys i love you guys thank you so much for watching wow like a huge thanks to everybody that has been following this series i i absolutely love the support you guys have been showing me it is now time for me to launch the rocket i hope you guys want to tune in for that as always thank you very much for watching